Hey fellow agents, this is Agent Smith and we are playing Space Quest 10. Latex Babes of Estros. Possibly just Space Quest 4. Uh, so we just got fired from the Monolith Burger, but we got the money that we need to do a couple of things. One is to, uh, is to do the TM bit. Two is we need to go to the store. The software store. Blah, blah, blah. I can speak words. But before we do the hurt so good. Go ahead and pop into the, or excuse me, before we go to the ATM, pop into the store. All right, holy crap, I hate that fucking thing. Sorry, about. but the crowd completely cleaned out my stock of Sierra software. The only thing that's left is boring home and business application software, along with a few inferior games. But hmm. feel free to look around anyway. Which we're going to do. to return something, forget it. We have a strict no returns policy. I'd like to help you out, guy, but you know how corporations are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, anyway, let's go a take a take a look bin at the bargain bin. Containing discount software. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look through. We're looking for something specific in here, but these are actually the fun latest to look bomb at. from master storyteller Maury Bryanarty. Boom is a post-Holocaust adventure set in post-Holocaust America after the Holocaust. Neutron bombs have eradicated all life, leaving only you to wander through the wreckage. No other characters, no conflict, no puzzles, no chance of dying, and no interface make this the easiest to finish game yet. Just boot it up and watch it explode. They're making fun of Loom from LucasArts. It's actually a game that's similar to one of LucasArts was a company who never made games that that you would actually have to, uh, that you could lose. Lose scenarios were not a thing in those cases. Didn't find anything you no, it wasn't done in there. I meant to resume. All right, so move that aside. Next, we got. Uh, it's here at last, Sim -sim. with a combination of SAI, simulated artificial intelligence, and BRAI, virtually real artificial intelligence, we at MaxVis Software have created Maxis. a simulated simulator experience that's unlike anything you've ever simulated playing before. With SimSim, -sim, you can create a simulated environment in which you can create any simulated environment you want. That's actually a pretty good idea, but that's not what we're looking Alright, let's see. Got. Can I pile it up? Thank you. It's the newest in the wacky Jaime Lipschitz series. Jaime, <laughs> son of a wealthy New York furrier, has gone wild with Dad's frequent flyer vouchers again. Can you track Jaime down and bring him home to meet the girl Mom's picked out for him? Hold on to your yarmulke. Yes, Jaime Lipschitz strikes again. 640K, Ronald MT32, and 3.5 circumcision required. Selena. <laughs> Making fun of the Border Bun series. Border Bun actually says, in there, Where in the world is Carmen Sandico? <laughs> Where in the world is Jaime Lipschitz? Really? Can't. Following closely on the heels of his hit tic tac toe construction set, Scum Soft was the company in number again. three. Using a simple point and click interface, you construct the checkerboard of your dreams. Fill in an 8x8 grid with squares of your choice, red or black, in any arrangement, as long as it's alternating. Don't like it? Erase it and start all over again. Requires MCGA, CGA, VGA, PGA, or Tarara Boom GA. Okay. <laughs> You don't have a choice to make anything. You only have a choice of red and black or black and red. Not really a choice. Let's see. Thanks. From the folks who brought you Astro Chicken, when it comes to stimulating chickens, Chuck Egger is the expert. And now you can I think he meant to him. say Cluck Egger is what's written here. Choice. But Over he actually said the guy's name Chuck Egger. No lips and laying Chuck, frequencies. Chuck Yeager. And take your creation for a wild ride over real barnyard scenery based on an authentic flight model of a chicken. You're in for a peck of fun now. <laughs> That's funny. He had a missed, uh, missed Spoke there. They're making fun of the name and everything. I forgot to say the name. He almost said the actual name. Presenting the latest in the award winning Ooh. King's Quest series from the still active mind of aging Roberta King's Williams. Quest 48. The latest in the award winning Roberta Williams series. What happens when old man Graham and his family are kicked out of Daventry Condo Association? You'll meet the fabulous Bernoulli brothers, Professor C.D. Romberg, and of course, Rumpel Stiltskin. Of over course. Four gigabytes in length. And back then, that would have been insanely large. 12 gigabytes ain't that bad nowadays, but back then, 
For one, the number of discs you would need would be impossible. Three point, those 3.5 inch discs only hold like one and a 1.44 megabytes, I think. And that thing would take 18 gigs or 12 gigs or whatever they said. Impossible. We need this book right here, but let's look at this last and one. for the hills, it's coming, and this time it's hungry. It came for dessert. Is a thrilling action adventure in which a mob of again pushy, that I overweight relatives down. invade your kitchen. Armed with only a jello mold and a pastry bag, you must repel the invaders. Always keeping an eye on your blood sugar level. It's the merriest mix-up since Enema Ware's fabulous Defender of the Crown Rib Roast. They're making fun of Cin Cineware, which was a company that made a lot of live action games and that, how they, they've done that actually reminds me that there are so many of these to do. I'm going to have to take a look into those for a later purpose. See what's out there, what I can find. Cineware was uh, one of my favorites. So. But they got to make fun of everybody else because they're all the competitors against Sierra and all the other adventure companies out there. But this is the one the we two want. guys from Andromeda's latest sci-fi comedy, Space Quest 4, will give you hours of frustration unless you have this hint book. Want to know how to get the dog into the hanging basket? Want to find out how what to dog? attach the melon? Buy this what about hint a book melon? and it all becomes obvious. You'll hit your head and say, Boy, how stupid could I have been? A moron could have figured this out. I must be a real dimwit, a pathetic nimno, a wretched idiotic excuse for a human being not to have figured out these simple puzzles in the first place. Try it and see. All right, we're going to keep this one. This one's actually priced right, too. Five bucks. Keep that one. Buy that. Ah! I see you've made a selection from our box of slop, or bargain bin. All right, let's go ahead and pay for this book. <laughs> Thank you. And let's go ahead and take a look at it. This is actually going to help us out in a couple of puzzles. Some things down. Go ahead and take a look. He also gave you one of these. So back in the An day... SQ4 hint book. Yes, it's a reveal-o-matic electric hint revealer. So they used to call them just a reveal-o-matic, and the reveal-o-matics used to work back in the day with color in here. You can't use that here. And there would be invisible ink that you couldn't see, so that way you can get hints until you got an answer. Let's go ahead and go through this. It's actually pretty <clears throat> Question. I'm in a long tunnel with a light visible at the far end. What should I do? Maybe you're having a near-death experience. Go for it. Haven't you ever seen Poltergeist? Go into the light, Carol Ann. <laughs> the, wo the wound where the tentacled venomite ripped my larynx out keeps getting infected. Help! Have you been picking at it again? That's the only way to make it worse. <clears throat> Have you found the iodine dispenser? You found the bottle of peroxide. We found the salt shake. Mix the iodine into the peroxide and shake some salt. Apply the mixture to the wound. Scrape yourself off the ceiling and get on with the game. I can't seem to find the one-armed man. Ask Bob. I believe that's a reference to... Uh, it's probably fugitive, but possibly a reference to... So I can't remember. Who do you think you're fooling? There's no one-armed man. You made it all up, Kimball. Turn yourself in. You can't find the one-armed man, so don't bother looking. Okay, he, he's at the car. <coughs> I can't hear what the two guys at the bar are saying. Have you tried typing listen to men? Oh, that's right. This is a parser list. Click the ear icon on the men. Oh, wait, that's right. Um, there's no ear icon. Click the eye icon on the men. That didn't help either, did it? Uh you think it would? Just for, there's no way to hear what they're saying. That'll teach you to read ahead in the hint book. <laughs> Strawberry is to sky as fire is to blueberry. Kind of makes sense. You got a red strawberry. The sky is blue. You have a red fire in blueberry. Is blue. So I would take that one. But if they teach that, but either way, India. I don't get that one at all. <laughs> Good dental hygiene. Or putting the key card into the slot and reco meter, meter and turning it on of uh, viewfinder. <laughs> well, there you go. Make any sense to any puzzle I know in this? I'm in the stupid time pod. Where else can I go? Where do you think? Some place where the sun don't shine. Ulin's flats. 
if you had the coordinates. And that's actually a good hint. Oh, great. Only In half fact, the answer showed. We have it. It must be a defective hint module. Now, if you remembered to take down the last three, or if you didn't, it's in your inventory. Take down the last three, and these are the first three. This will make up your code to get to Space Quest 1, Ulens Flat. Now, I think this code is the same every time, but again, I just recommend writing all these things down. That way you have a reference to work with when you're uh, on a paper. It just makes things... Space Quest 1, Ulens Flats. We will be heading there, actually. I think that's where we're going next. But when I tried to splice the VidLink cable to the Venusian, Venusian hollow mat, I end up irradiating myself with deadly plutonium. What do I do now? Well, you could. Good question. So far, our best solution is to seal yourself in a 50 by 50 uh, foot block of concrete. Then bury yourself at least 1,500 feet deep, preferably in an unpopulated, undeveloped area. Avoid salt mines or areas where corrosion may reach the concrete. Try not to talk uh, to or touch any of the uh, body or any for the next 50,000 years. There's a large, slimy creature blocking the door to the custodian's room in the Magmethian building. It's not even a question. Okay, how do I get past the large, slimy creature blocking the door of the custodian's room in the Magnetium building. What do you think he's uh, waiting for? He's undoubtedly waiting for a custodian. If he was a uh, custodian, he probably needs some of that awful pine-scented sawdust. Give the pine-scented sawdust to the creature. I've got the book on running the suborbital Surrey. What do I do with it? This one's easy. <laughs> Read it. Make note of any particularly important features and events. Did you enjoy the book? Why or why not? Explain your answer. Giving examples for the, uh, from the text. Be brief. You know, all the steps you would do to give a good book report. You're in a strange room inside the supercomputer. Scary eyeball looking things stare at, me, uh, at <coughs> biomechanical bones liven up the area nicely. Uh, how, how do I get an open door? Open the door. I can say things. Use the oval zine, Robert. The Jaws of Life would be most helpful. Since neither of these items are in the game, try the code 54321. And since that one didn't work, try 69, 65, 84, 76, 60. You will need this code for as far as I got to. <laughs> this is actually as far as I made it. You will need that code for but you'll have this book with you, so you can always reference it. I, again, prefer to write things down. So. Help, I've fallen, and I can't get up. We'll call your family and your hospital right away, Miss Fletcher. You guys probably read the reference for this a little bit. Uh, having a fallen and can't get up became a bit of a meme these days, but the original commercial actually had the man get on the phone and tell Mrs. Fletcher that. And lastly, or at least on this page, uh, I've just started the game, and I've got the ampule of Mega Hall 256 and a wad of chewing tobacco, and the open can of classic DNA. What now? What now? What more do you want? Have you tried inhaling the Mega Hall 256? Have you tried chewing the wad of tobacco? Have you tried sipping some classic DNA? Gosh, those didn't work. Hmm. Put the tobacco and the ampule into a can and shake. Go to the room with the def defibrillator, pour the mixture into it, and go three screens to the left. After the explosion, go back into the room and take the ID chip from the dead guard. Get in the pod, go to the horse's asteroid, fight the security drones, and put the ID chip into the second servo box bo uh, booth. Climb into the subsystem computer and use the laser rasp to access the vector panel. Cut the green and lavender wires, and then step back. You win! Congratulations! I install this game as per instructions, and the game freezes up. What am I doing wrong? Computer room is too cold. Make sure your thermostat is set to about 30, above 32 degrees. People think cold rooms. Cold rooms actually help computers run. So, is there a fix available for this? Uh, I walk into the first room and get the message, Oops, you tried something we didn't think of. Oops, you asked something. My computer has a five and a quarter drive, five and a quarter inch drive, and this game comes in a three and a half only. Can I get a bigger disc? So far, there are no good methods. Don't fall for the ads depicting miracle methods such as pumps 
hormone pills, or injections. Your best bet is to tell yourself that it's not the size that counts. Oh, wait. Did you say disc? <laughs> I actually referred to discs actually back then. 3.25 discs were most games were around five and a quarter with the larger size that actually held less space. I think that's it. Yep, that's all of them. That's all the stuff that's in the hint book, but we do get the two big things we need. The code, the rest of the code for Space Quest 1's location code for the room. It'll be a little bit tougher to, but we have all those written down for future reference. So I'm going to go ahead, quickly go back to the lady's place and get my outfit and come back to this AT. So on your way around to go in to get the ATM stuff done, if you haven't gone this direction in a full circle, we don't forget to pick up this man's cigar. We're gonna need you this retrieve well. the cigar butt. We're gonna need that as well for a later puzzle towards. It's also part of the reason why we need to go square square uh, quest, space quest one. Go ahead and walk up to this ATM. Should now look close enough to this image to. Buckmaster 2000. Balance. $2,001. Perfect. It's raw at all. I'm sure we'll need it. Don't mess. Touch the screen. And done. Thank you, thank you. Now we're going to go ahead and head back around to the uh, clothing store to get rid of this out. Just head into the back and switch back into your clothes. There you go. But we've got a bunch of money. It's going to be useful to us when, when we get the items we need. But unfortunately, the problem is we need a power supply for this. Something to plug it into. But we got it from Space Quest 12. So we need to get back there to find what kind of plug we're going to. We can get it from the Hurt So Good store. Or Robo uh, Radio Shock if for some reason you're playing. Um, but either way, they have the item we need. But we don't know what it looks like. So we need to know that from Space Quest 12. Before we head there, we need to find out how to get out of here. We'll do all that on the next one. Get the Space Rippers here. It's going to be a tough one. It's going to be one we're going to want to save a lot. It's a lot of date. Speed walk. Just a challenge. A challenge. I'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Hey, fellow Asians. Don't forget to like and subscribe by clicking the button in the center of the screen. You can also find the last video by clicking the button to the left. And you can take a look at some of the other stuff I've done by clicking the button to the right. Hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good day.